All right, well, here's part two of my CATL batteries. I've um, top balanced them and charged them. So now I'm gonna do a capacity test. And as you can see, they're pretty much fully charged. 14.3, so um, that's fully charged as far as I'm concerned. So the next step is I'm gonna hook them up to my battery tester and I'm gonna run them and see what kind of capacity and what kind of energy I get out of them. So I'll hook that up. I'll show you how that's set up and then I'll run it and we'll see what we get in a few hours. Uh, also, if you're wondering how to hook up a battery BMS, uh, I have several videos on that. This is a temporary, of course. I wouldn't suggest doing it this way, but uh, for my test, it's all I need. All right, so next time you see this, you will see it hooked up to the battery tester. So here we are at step two. The battery is hooked up to the battery tester. And as you can see, it's showing 14.3. And normally I wouldn't do it like this, but my um, workshop bench is full of batteries right now. In fact, let's come over here. So um, I'm charging my second set. I bought three sets of four. So I'm charging the second one here. And I got these guys over here all in parallel too. So once these guys get charged up and are balanced, then I'll, I'll run them over here. So back over here. So this is a very simple uh, unit. You just... Um, Turn up the dial to apply load. Uh, you can only go so high. I think it's uh, 180 watts total. So, um, you know, it does not quite a, a 0.2C test, but uh, it's pretty good. You just gotta, when you turn this dial up, you gotta make sure you don't go over 180 watts or it starts yelling at you. So I just slowly turn it up. As you can see the voltage has already dropped because um, there's a load on it. Let's see how close we can get. 155. This thing's yelled at me so many times because I go too high. I'm going to keep it right there. So um, this just runs a load. It's got a little heat sink on it and then this fan pulls the, the heat away from it and it just runs and it'll tell us you know what kind of um, watt hours and what the capacity was. Um, but given that it's a small battery, this should only take, you know, whatever the math is, four, five, six hours. And hopefully it hits 100. We'll see. So I will click back. I mean, so I will check back in a few hours, and we'll see what we get. Here we are at the end of the test. We just hit 10.0 voltage, so the um, battery is not drawing anymore. I'm sure the BMS cut off. So the question is, did it hit 100 amp hour? Let's zoom in and see. Look at that, 100, basically 100.1, and well over 1200 watt hours. So in seven and a half hours, we hit rated capacity. So, well, I'm impressed. It did it.